Yeah, thanks for tuning in. So we've got an Iraqi former Christian in Sweden who has desecrated the Quran outside of the embassy of, uh, I think it's Iraq or Iran, in Sweden, in Stockholm. And there's been some backlash, so let's have a look at these demonstrations. You know that if the Quran is insulted, there's going to be a backlash. So they've got an Islamic holiday and the Quran was insulted on this particular holiday. And because it's Sweden and the authorities didn't do anything about it, they're burning the Swedish flag. Clerics are demanding that Swedish ambassadors are summoned and that there are strongly worded condemnations. They are expecting this from the Swedish government and obviously it's not going to happen. Well, what can I say? There's nothing like outrage to bring the Muslims out on the streets of Tehran and other countries. So, okay, let's just see what he did. There he is. He's outside the embassy in Stockholm. The yes. I guess that the people that are shouting to him are shouting from the embassy. Uh, he's insulting the Quran there, stepping on it, wiping his shoes, etc., etc. All oh, right, no, he's burnt it outside a mosque in Stockholm and they're shouting at him. There we are. Okay, well, you can consider the Quran well and truly insulted by an Iraqi, which I suppose makes it worse for them than if, I don't know, say a white European Christian insulted the Quran, sort of, it's like one of their own kind. So yeah, there have been thousands out on the streets. You saw that clip. Various clerics have called for the Swedish government to condemn the actions. It took place on a Muslim holiday called Eid al-Adha. So the fact that it took place on a significant day for Muslims is also significant and sort of intensifies the insult and the outrage felt by various Muslims around the world. There's a picture of the Swedish flag being burned. So yeah, that's about it. I wonder what his motivations are for doing that. Uh, whether he's trying to, why would he, why would he do that? Trying to maybe draw attention, trying, trying to provoke Muslims to maybe highlight the sort of tension between, I don't know, Western democratic values and Islam, the, the values of Islam, Sharia law, etc. He certainly has provoked a response and let's hope that there are no, there's no violence which leads to any injuries. Okay, so I'll be away for a couple of days and back next week to do more work on my channel and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.